hello wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as you do uh, we know the carry last to bring you information where we say you need why i make i go to the information where we say now in carry me come here because matter footable the supreme court subverting justice and then name the canals appeal the indigenous people of biafra lament and accuse the supreme court Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all of us of freedom all over the world. If this is your first time of coming across our channel, just go ahead and subscribe as we they go. I greet you, the Biafra, the Oma. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has accused the Supreme Court of subverting the cause of justice against the leader Nam De Kanu. IPOB accused the Supreme Court of using instrumentality of adjournment against Kano. The spokesman of the IPOB, Ima Parfo, said the separatist group was disappointed and bewildered over the decision of the Supreme Court to cancel the earlier date for the hearing of Kano's case. Parfo said the decision of Supreme Court was the worst from the travesty of justice and violent destruction of the rule of law. The statement by Powerful reads, We the global family of a movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, ably led by the great indefatigable leader and liberator Mazi Okuchuku Kano, condemn the continuous as adjournment of our leader's case by the Supreme Court and Niger Court of Nigeria in their effort for, a, for our leader to remain in the DSS solitary confinement in Abuja. The afterthought and flimsy reasons being that the 14th of September 2023, earlier scheduled for the hearing of the case, has caught up with the Supreme Court's annual vacation. To say the least, this is the worst form of traversity of justice and violent destruction of rule of law. If we may ask, was it not in an open court that the justice of the Supreme Court that sat on the appeal on the 11th day of May 2023 adjourned the matter to the 14th day of September 2023? It is also our understanding that the 14th day of September 2023 adjournment was not granted as a matter of course. The adjournment date was carefully considered against the background of the federal government deliberate policy to thwart the proceedings of that day by applying for time to file their papers even when they were clearly out of time and the appeal was consequently adjourned to the 14th day of september 2023 for definite hearing if the present intention of the upper court is is not to rip is not a rape of democracy and clear subversion of the court of justice how could they have adjourned to the 14th day of september 2023 without being guided by their diary which contains the entire schedule of activities and holidays of the supreme court for the entire year the cancellation of this date on the frivolous ground that the scheduled date is cut up with the upper court annual vacation is against the Supreme Court's own rule governing criminal trials that are subject to accelerated hearing. It is to be observed that the unfolding events go to demonstrate that the Supreme Court of Nigeria is not abiding with their own rules by constantly adjourning the case of our leader, Emma Powerful said. IPOB urged the international communities to prevail on the Supreme Court to hear Kano's appeal so that this case will be promptly de determined. The group wondered how the Nigerian government would justify the failure to release Nam De Kano despite the appeal court discharging and acquitting him. If the federal government of Nigeria is no longer interested in prosecuting their appeal, our leader should be immediately released in line with the order of the Punulet's court made on the 13th day of October 2022, he said. <laughs> uh, my people, now don't hear us if they happen. Uh, because um, uh, even though that this Emma Powerful has been 
kicking against what uh, Simon Epa is doing, who is the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. I think today he is making sense, and I believe that um, their eyes is now opening to see from uh, Simon Epa's point of view that without pressure, that government will not be able to do anything in this case uh, that concerns um, Mazen Nam the Kano. Uh, because uh, as you can see what is happening in Nigeria, uh, it looks as if uh, it looks as if uh, these people don't even uh, care about their citizens. And um, uh, what they do is what pleases them they are the court that set the law, and they are also the one who breaks the law at the same time. Uh, you find out that I'm um, uh, looking at the grounds with which the Supreme Court are doing their things. Like now, uh, they know that the next day of Mazen and the Kano's appearing, appearance in court uh, 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 clashed with the su uh, 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 Supreme Court holiday, a big court hol their holiday. And um, without even looking into their, their diary or without looking into the schedule of their program for the year, uh, they gave uh, that uh, adjournment. And up to now, uh, uh, they did not rectify it to be able to okay see what is going to happen. And um, we are made to understand that the court uh, is the hope of the common man. Uh, but when, when it comes to Nigeria, uh, in the court, my brother, is not... The hope of the common man uh, because uh, uh, the court is now the hope of the rich man who has the money or the hope of the top politician who is on seat meanwhile make i carry you go for another information they say one popular artist mama don't die uh, one artist will be said they call uh, whiskey an afro singer uh, will be said they for nigeria uh, when a nigerian singer will he be uh, in mama don't die and one of his friend will be say they call the video obio oh, oh, one of Ndegu has sent him a message also he said praying for you brother the video alamide it will be tasha others commiserate with whiskey afrobeat superstar the video alamide ck and many nigerian celebrities have commiserated with their colleague and follow fellow superstar Whiskey following the demise of his mother. Vanguard reported that Whiskey, the Grammy Award winning artist, lost his mother Jane Dolakbo Balogun to the cold hands of death in the early hours of Friday in London. While consoling his colleague, David prayed for him and, and said he would heal with time. On his Twitter handle, he wrote, Praying for you, my brother, at Whiskey Dayo. Sadness flies away on the wings of time. Uh, when I don't see, I see the heart. Uh, even person will be say get money in Mama, they die. Kwatu. And even Pitobi, the celebrity party presidential candidate, Mr. Pitobi, wrote, On behalf of the obedient family, I sincerely commiserate with Mr. Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun Whiskey, who reportedly lost his beloved mother. The death of a loved one is a very painful experience. More so, a beloved mother. And uh, Pito B, they write this one. Well, kudos to P.O. Pito B. Um, you know, when Pito B was... Uh, uh, when Pito B was, um, you know, talking about uh, joining the Nigerian presidency race, uh, where he wanted to become the president of Nigeria. And I believe that um, had it been that Pito B with the influence he has, and how he has been able to, you know, uh, carry himself as a leader, had joined what the indigenous people of Biafra are doing. He could have helped to, you know, bring a better picture of what uh, uh, the indigenous people of Biafra are doing through his academic prowess, through his um, oratory prowess, and through his way of doing things. Because I believe that um, Pito B is a man who understands policy, and he's also a man who understands how economy works. So I think had he been he gave that strength to the cause of his people, I think by now things must have been changing. But kudos to those who are still on the race. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. Uh, I'll see you another time. And if this is your first time of uh, joining our social media handle, 
what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news enter you could be the first to collect and thank you for listening god bless you